Did you guys happen to bring any bug spray with you? No. Oh, no. Really? Is it that bad? Yes. Researchers say fears over West Nile virus are back. Experts are now predicting an outbreak in Ontario, including Toronto. People down at the Canadian National Exhibition also weren't happy to hear it's peak biting season. All right, so we'll have to watch out today, but uh, yeah, no, didn't know about that. I'm confident that if people don't do anything, we're going to end up with over 300 cases. A newly released study out of Brock University is raising the alarm based on statistical models. They've been tracking human case numbers since the first outbreak in 2002, climate data and the number of infected mosquitoes showing up in weekly collection pools. Based on the evidence, researchers are expecting more than 330 West Nile cases in Ontario by the end of this year. In 2016, there were only 104 cases in all of Canada. I would love it if the model were proved wrong and people did take care of themselves and avoid bites and then they don't get sick. Most people infected with West Nile virus do not have symptoms. Some develop a mild flu with fever, headache and vomiting, but roughly one out of every 150 people bit by an infected mosquito will develop a serious, sometimes fatal illness. Health officials in Toronto say people should heed the outbreak warnings. We also currently don't have any human cases that have been reported to Toronto Public Health. However, that can change, so it is important for people to take precautions when they spend time outdoors. Researchers say the next two weeks will be peak infection times. There is no vaccine or treatment for West Nile virus. Experts recommend using an insect repellent with DEET, wearing long sleeves and pants, and limiting the amount of time you spend outdoors at dusk and dawn to prevent being bitten in the first place. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.